Hi everybody, welcome back to Unchain Crochet. I'm Jen, your host. Um, I just wanted to go over some of my newest acquisitions. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos of the Hobby Lobby hauls, you'll want to watch those. There's two so far. And um, this is going to be my third and fourth trip combined. My second one was the Hall of Halls. <laughs> and believe me, it was the Hall of Halls. Still waiting to be organized. I've been working on the craft room today and have the cabinets ready to load up. So back to um, the, let me see here. Okay, this is the second trip. I don't remember exactly how many skeins I got. Um, so we'll just open them up to see together. Uh, let me get the knots undone. I'm just gonna pause real quick and be right back. Okay, this is part of this uh, third haul. Um, these were all around $1.24. This one was $1.74. Those look a little bit different than each other on camera. They're closer in color as far as probably dye lot. It's probably the difference. So I don't think that the, maybe they're not the same yarn. No, they're the same yarn. Uberlux. Yarn V Uberlux. We got some Romantique. Down here is also some Romantique. So let's start with those. The Romantique, it's a bit of a chunky weight. $1.24, normally $5. Um, same thing here. $1.24, normally $5. Uh, this is the True Colors. Um, it looks a little bit bulkier. It's a nice little peach color. Peachy pink, pinky peach, uh, $4.99 regular price, $1.24, $4.99 regular price, $1.24, and that's some more romantic. So, got three romantiques. This is kind of a brownish, dark taupe color, um, ivory, light gray or silver, and then that peachy pink, and the teal is very much chunkier. So, you're probably wondering why I got these grouped together. Maybe you're wondering, maybe you're not. And there's like one more skein from uh, the haul I did uh, yesterday after work, I think. <laughs> um, so uh, there's a little bit more to go with this little bunch right here. These are for my middle daughter, Emily, who was in my um, day after the haul of hauls video, uh, rating the stash, her and her friend. Um, so these are for her to make me a wall hanging with. She's been talking about doing me a wall hanging. And I'm going to do her a Saatchi hat in exchange. So um, I think these would be really pretty together. They're a little bit 80s or early 90s with the peachy and the pink. But I have a really cute um, painting or it's one of those gicle prints. Um, it says follow your dreams. And it has these arrows and the feathers are, have all these different colors in it. Um, but it also has like a rusty um, reddish brown color too, so we may add that in. Um, but I like all those together. I may add another um, darker peach, uh, muted peach. Okay, so I'm going to pause here. And did I go over the price of this one? Normally $6.99 and it's $1.74. Okay, so um, on to the next bunch. Hold on just a minute. Just a quick note, the title of this video is going to include the blame game because this third trip here I took, I'm blaming on Lynette from Charm Grammy Crochet. And Charm Grammy Crochet, I am tagging you here in this video to make a blame game video of someone else who made you take a trip to get yarn. It doesn't have to be the Hobby Lobby clearance. It would be fun if it all was, um, just so we have some cohesiveness. But the blame game, that's what we're playing. <laughs> So now we have some of the I Love This Cotton. Um, I think I got some of this in the Hall of Halls, um, a bunch of it in that colorway. And um, it is super soft. I have not used I Love This Cotton yet. So I'm really curious to see how I like working with that. 94 cents, normally $3.79. Then we've got some Sweet Delights, uh, like a... Violet. These two are violet. And this one is Bashful. Oh, that's a cute name. Bashful. It's peach. So, um, 
the Baby Bee Sweet Delights were $1.32, normally $5.29. There's three of those. And then this one is Sweet Delight Prints for $1.32. It's regularly $5.29. Uh, more I love this yarn, and I do love this yarn. Me and Beth, it's both of our favorite worsted weights, I think. And they make such nice colors in it. And they coordinate so well together. Um, $1.25, normally 5 bucks. These are all just 75% off, everybody. There's a peach. Um, I think that one uh, may match one of them I've got in for my wall hanging. So, um, Tinder Touch. Got gobs of Tinder Touch um, in the Hall of Halls um, last Monday. Sweet Delight Chunky Heshabai colorway. Very pretty. Very pretty. That, I think, will look kind of speckly when it works out in crochet. Um, the Tinder Touch for $0.99, cents, $1.25 for the Sweet Delight Chunky. Um, I have, I believe I've worked with the Sweet Delight Chunky before and worked with a speckled, um, something dots. It was something dots, but I made our, uh, lease leasing um manager up at our office um a baby blanket with it it turned out really cute and worked up so quick um here is some more yarn b soft and sleek dk we got gobs of that in the hall of halls i think i got one skein of that colorway already almost has a color dye effect to it a kettle dye effect sorry uh 4.99 it was a dollar 25 I don't care for the weight of this yarn so much. I've got another project going that this doesn't match that I needed more yarn for that I got in the Hall of Halls. Um, but this one, I don't have anything started in. And it'll probably get doubled up with another sport weight yarn or fingering weight. Just make us something marled with it. Uh, I love this chunky. $1.24. It says super soft, super savings. Um, yeah, 75% off. <laughs> Okay, and this one, regularly $4.99, same as the other one, $1.24. I love this chunky. Uh, that was bag number two and three of the third haul. All right, going to pause and we'll go on to the fourth haul. Now that I'm in the guest bedroom and I'm looking at this heap of yarn on the bed and I've added more bags in here, um, I have my cabinets together and they're great. They're awesome. But I'm just looking at them and I'm wondering, how am I going to get it all in there? So let's hope. I don't want to have to order a fourth cabinet. If I do, it's going to have to go in here. Um, and I really don't want to segregate any of the yarn, even though... If I do segregate, it'll be some of them that I don't see myself likely to work with. Then maybe that'll be my little um, area that people can come and raid as they need some yarn or want something to do. All right. Um, here is haul number four coming up. Okay. Sorry this keeps flipping, but we'll have to deal with it. And I might need to flip it back and forth uh, when I edit, if I edit. So here, okay, I stumbled on a... Uh, upon a big huge like wicker basket um and they they only have one small display area that kind of is between the sections of the store you know it's like a little island and they only have that one that they're filling up at the avon store in indiana um which is where i've done three of my hauls now the hall of halls was from kokomo indiana these other three have all been from the hobby lobby in avon so they only have the one island um, that they're filling up with the clearance yarns. Every day they restock it. So um, they're pacing themselves. I like the way Kokomo did it, but then it made me like fall into this big, huge pile up on the bed. <laughs> and now I've got cabinets I've had to buy and have to organize my whole craft room again. Uh, but it's okay because it's been about eight months since I did that. So um, here we've got... Oh, in that big basket was all of these plus all of these. These are the Sugar Will uh, Cotton Minis. Big bag full of them. And these are little dollops. 
Mint Mellow, 92 yards, 49 cents. It's regularly $2. Um, I like the texture of this better than cotton. Let's look at this because I never heard of this before I bought these. 55% um, acrylic, 45% cotton. So it's an acrylic cotton mix. And it calls for an A hook or a size 7 knitting needle. So my favorite weight there. Um, favorite hook size. Um, there's just some really, really pretty colors. Sorry for the changes in the lighting. It's the sun coming through. I wanted to be able to see all the colors. So all of those. Um, got four crafter secret cottons. This is kind of a lime-ish, yellowish, green. It's more yellow in the video than it is in person. Um, it's almost a neon. Uh, those were, and they're little, 57 cents down from $2.29. Here is the variegated pinks and white. Got two of those. That one's kind of getting to be a mess. I'm going to have to wind it up. Um, that one's a mess too. Okay, so um, here's the rest of uh, the big ones. We'll call these the big ones. Some mimosa. Got some of that, I believe, in the same colorway in the Hall of Halls. So, it, and a white one or an ivory one. And it's got just a hint of sparkle to it. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's a sparkle in there. It's very subtle. Sheen. Mimosa I have not worked with yet before. Um, it's kind of a specialty yarn, I think. It calls for a size 4 knitting needle or a size D crochet hook. I don't really use a size D crochet hook, so I'll probably double those. Some more romantique. $1.24. Some, an, another True Colors. This, honestly, I love this. It's kind of a mustard gold, uh, muted gold. I'm going to uh, put that in my bag for the wall hanging for Emily. Um, this is Hue IQ by Hobby Lobby. Um, I had never heard of it before. It's subtly changing, uh, tweety effect. It's chunky weight. Dollar twelve from five dollars, and hundred percent acrylic. Size fifteen knitting needle, and a size N hook. Two of those, and it's more baby bee, sweet delight, and just a beige color. That skein is kind of a mess. It looks like somebody bought it, rewrapped it, and stuck the label back on it. Either that or it fell apart, people handling it in the store. And I just doubt the store would wrap it back up like that, where it's kind of end to end like that. But another one that's $1.32. All right, let me pause and get the other bag out that has the um, Sugar Wheel minis. Okay, all of these were... 49 cents each. I just found another dollop, little dollop, and for some reason it was 62 cents, but big deal. Who cares? Big deal, Lucille. Um, and that was in this bag here. So let me dump it out. Hold on. Okay, so in this last bag here, I found five more little dollops that were 49 cents, 62 cents, 62, 49, 62. So they kind of, I guess it depended on what the SKU number was um, that determined the price. I don't know how they're doing that and why some of those were cheaper and some of them weren't. But 20, not even 20 cents difference. So um, not a big deal. Uh, the lighting in here, it's getting kind of orangey because the sun is um, setting towards this window here. Uh, there are two, four, six, seven of these in this colorway. There's some orange, mauve, blue, teal, 
or turquoise. There's a baby blue or something there, a powdery blue. Seven of those. There's four of these. These are kind of cotton candy colors. Sorry about the lighting. There we go. Blue, yellow, pink. There's five of those. There's three of these. This is a really pretty color. There's, um, back on, mint green in the middle to like an ice blue to a, a peachy pink to a white and back to the um, aqua. Three of those. Three of these. That's pretty true to color there. Sunny yellow to greens to turquoise to the sunny yellow again. Three of those. Uh, just one of these in here. It's kind of a yellow and green combination. It's actually like a teal right here. Here is um, six of these with a mulberry color, orange and purple together. It's pretty. It would be really cute for fall to make a little cowl with that or something. Um, oh, I said I had five more little dollops in this bag. There's seven of them now, so seven more dollops. So all these are the dollops. All these are the cotton, sugar wool cotton minis. And um, they're going to go in baskets on top of my cabinets. So, um, also, we got some of, I think we got some Sugar Wheel Cotton Minis the other day um, in the Hall of Halls. So, uh, they'll just be added to these. Um, hold on just a second. Okay, so it took me, I'm so very tired, <laughs> four or five hours today to work on the cabinets. Um, if you like to see crafting uh, organization videos, um and see the cabinets that I bought off of Amazon, how they go together and snap together. And there's no screws. It's all snapped together. Um, and then there's some little security clips that clip the, you know, little metal pieces together to secure it from the back and the sides. Uh, got those put together in about four or five hours. And then when I got done, my husband came and gave me double high fives. And he said, good job. And, um... Then he said, so I need to bring all the bags uh, in here. And he wanted to bring the yarns uh, that are on the bed in here, the, the Hall of Halls. He wanted to haul it all into the craft room. I'm not quite ready for that, plus I needed a break. So he had some errands to run, but um, when he gets back, we're going to be uh, starting in on that. So um, not looking to get it all done in a day. Uh, but it would be nice to make a good dent into it. I think what I've accomplished already for today was pretty pretty outstanding. So um, I will talk to you guys later. Um, don't forget, if you want to play along with the blame game, um, I have tagged, I'm going to say it again, I've tagged Lynette from Charmed Grammy Crochet. Hi, Lynette. Um, loved her video that she had of her and her daughter um, going through her newest acquisition from Hobby Lobby's clearance. So um, I will link her video in the description box below so you can go watch it. And hopefully it will inspire you to, um, you know, make your own acquisition <laughs> or reorganize. <laughs> um, I like the way Lynette's got all her yarns organized. Um, they're very nice, very pretty background for her. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.